Hi, my name is Jack Crocker. Um, I also go by Violet Period Pay. I am 20, I'm originally from Cornwall and now I live in Ormskirk. So I first got into drag on, I think it was September 2016, which was my first year of uni. Um, it was kind of weird to like do it so young because I was only 18, but then working with other queens now, I've realised that that's quite a late age to get into it. Um, I only really had the chance to do it once I came to uni because my parents weren't really that like mindful of it. Like coming from Cornwall there wasn't really anybody else like me, like I didn't really fit into a group because I was gay, very camp and that was something completely different to where everybody else was where I'm from. So coming up here and seeing that everything's okay and you can just do whatever I want, like I decided to try it. Um, I then got a job in March 20, uh, 2017 in a club called Heaven in Liverpool that I worked there for a bit and now I'm working at a club called Out Liverpool and I'm soon going to be working in a club called Pink Liverpool. I had an experience last year where I was like finding it difficult to come into uni and like didn't really want to be here and do this and do that and didn't want to be very social and I won't say who but somebody put it down to me and my identity and like how I should go to identity counselling because I don't know where I am. So that was very prejudiced in the fact that I'm a drag queen. I'm a man that dresses as a woman, but I'm very happy that I'm a man. And I'm happy that I can dress as a woman and I'm not oppressed to do so. Like, it's still a great thing to do, but I don't want anything else from that. Like, I'm very happy as I am. And I feel like that was misunderstood because of me being a drag queen. So I feel like it's just that like, education that has to happen between like society and minorities to like kind of blur the lines together and kind of make everybody understand. My drag name comes from a, like, a lady, a queen called um, Shania Pei. She's a cabaret artist. She works in Liverpool, Manchester, Brighton, London, Cardiff. She's absolutely amazing and she's like what I call my drag mother. So um, she basically guides me through what I do. She helps me put together shows. She helps me put together hair and looks and costumes and like different tips and makeup and things. So she's a big inspiration for me. Um, drag for me has completely changed my like perception of how people see me. So when I'm in drag, I make a lot of friends and I'm normally a little bit tipsy or drunk when I'm in drag. So I kind of come along, like come across as a lot more friendly and like happy and bubbly and all of this. And then I'll see the same people out again when I'm a boy and they won't recognise me and I'll be the same bubbly happy person and there interpretation of that attitude from a different looking perspective is like really eye-opening so for me it's kind of interesting to see how I can like change someone's views just by the way I look and the way that I appear. I come from a background where I've started because I've seen RuPaul's Drag Race and then I've been influenced by the likes of Club Kids and going to London and seeing all the different types of drag that there is. I feel like what makes me different is I'm also an influencer even though I'm still being influenced by other people so I feel like that's really good. Like I'm not just here to put on a show and do this and do that, but I'm here to kind of give a little bit back and like help other people. And if someone wants something, maybe if I can give it to them, I can do it for them. And that's what I think makes me a little bit different from other queens on the scene at the minute. I hope to see my future of drag going on and on and on and on, purely because I've been given so many links and so many opportunities in performing, in hosting, like, I feel like if I was to stop, I'd be stupid because I've been given so much. Like I've got two drag jobs at the moment. I'm also working around the UK with club kids. And like being like 20, I'm still so young compared to other queens that have got what I have. So I want to just carry on and develop and get more contacts and see where I can go from there.